Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number three, and we're going up against an alliance called Agent Slate. So I have scouted out my path, and I am going in here with my standard attack team, Gladiator Hulk, Stark Spider-Man, and Blade. And as you can see, I was not the first one over to the left. So I will be able to, in one pass, do my entire path. So first fight is Spider-Gwen, and since the update, she's been really annoying. She is a really annoying defender. Now, you'll notice that they chose defense tactics. That's not going to bother us here against Spider-Gwen. Uh, for her, dodge is usually the more popular one uh, to support her small stature, and she already evades like crazy. So, path one, we use Gladiator Hulk. So far, I have not lost a fight on this path with Gladiator Hulk. He is by far the best option uh, because path one is Starburst, and so his face me is active. When his face me is active, he does a lot more damage, and the damage he does take he heals up most of it. So, great option. Uh, it is for this path that I ranked him up. He was just fine at rank three, but since I was going to be taking path one, I just gave myself a little extra boost, you know? But he honestly could do this path at rank three as well. But there we go. Spider-Gwen is down without too much difficulty. On to the next fight. So the next fight is going to be Venom. Now, Venom, he fights very aggressively. And that can cause you some problems sometimes. Not for Gladiator Hulk on this path, however. But I remember when there was a bug and you were not able to dash back twice in a row. It made him insane because he's so aggressive. So, a lot of times he doesn't like to fire his special one, but he's doing okay here with that special one. All right. Uh, you see he procced a physical resistance, but he's firing the special one, so we're okay. All right. Now, uh, one thing I don't want to do, I don't want to push him to a special two. The special two is a little tricky to evade. I've done it. But more times than I can count, I've messed up and got caught by it, and it does so much damage. So usually I try to bait out that special one, but sometimes he'll get so aggressive, he'll back you up into the corner, and then it's usually a bad time for you. But thankfully, that did not happen there. So path one is down, and of course, we did not take this mini here. None of the guys that I've brought are good for this mini. That may change in the future, but for right now, I usually bring in champions that will ensure I can clear my path. And if I can take a mini or two, if I'm needed, then I will. All right, so section two, you see that they did not place a defender on that first node. So I only had one opponent to fight. Now, it's an Iceman. Normally when I see Iceman, I get upset with my opponents because Iceman is not a difficult defender, but he's going to do those, you know, that damage. And I don't like it. If you have a, a proper counter, of course, it's not a problem. But if you don't, just look at all the damage that I'm taking from his uh, coal snap. I once fought a war where they lined their defense with champions that did damage that you couldn't really avoid at the time. You know, like Magix, Limbo, Electro, Iceman. Um, of course, there's proper counters for, you know, all of those now. But at the time, they were just trying to make me lose heart. You know, just take all that damage, have to use 
items to heal up, that sort of thing. All right, so we got through that path. Someone else took that thing, but Modok, they left Modok for me. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna go in here with Starkey. It's an annoying node. Modok is an annoying defender, but Starkey is a beast. So we're about to whoop Modok's butt. All right. So the basic strategy here is of course, build up those poise charges. I don't need to fire off a special two. I can't because it's locked to a special one. So just build them up and look at that. Wasn't that fun? So let me explain what happened there. Now, you know I'm trying to build up poise charges, so I'm dashing back. Anytime he does anything, I'm dashing back. I tried to dash back there. It did not dash back. I ate a heavy. This has happened before, and it's usually in conjunction with the heavy attack. And I just get locked into place. Nothing works. No inputs are registered. So I was not happy. And now I'm fighting mad. All right, brought in Blade. Now, Blade is a great option, but I don't have the uh, Ghost Rider synergy. So I'm not getting any danger sense. So I'm just having to fight him like normal, basically. You know, this is a debuff. Uh, if I remember right, yeah, this is a debuff immune. And... Uh, it's an annoying fight, but at least Blade can heal up from all that block damage that he takes. Now, you remember the defense tactics? It was Siphon. It's actually in play here. All right, so every time I get, you know, they make contact like right there, you can see the buff it has a couple of stacks of that buff. And so their block penetration and their attack, everything is increased. So I'm taking a lot of blocked hits, but Blade can actually heal. See, all of that, I'm healing it right back up. Blade is still a nice force uh, to be reckoned with. I uh, messed up there on the uh, evade, but just look at this. And now I'm trying to heal up a little bit because I don't want to you know, get uh, beaten to death, blocking, that would be not ideal. Uh, but at this point in time, we're, we already know that we're gonna lose this war. Uh, we are behind by quite a bit. Uh, they have 11 deaths less and they're already done and we have a lot to go. All right, but that's the end of my participation in this war. We did manage to get our boss down, but we were the only ones. Unlike the last war, this war was not even close. So let's come back in about four hours and find out how we did in this war. And we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, now, these guys had a pretty strong defense. Uh, I was told by the other BGs that their defense was pretty tough. So chances are, when we saw that we were not gonna win this war, the word came down uh, not to use any items because our focus is still Alliance Quest but we do want to get at least platinum rewards in Alliance War. But the more items we use in War, the less we can use in Alliance Quest. So Alliance Quest is always going to be our focus, uh, at least until they change the rewards. But Alliance War will win if we can, or if someone lights a fire under us. If you saw my last war, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but generally, 
we take a more relaxed approach to war. Uh, but that doesn't take anything away from our opponents. That was a very good war. You guys have a very strong defense. Uh, so congratulations. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to click like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have not subscribed to me already, feel free to give me a subscription. You'll see more videos like this, as well as crystal openings and other things. So take care, and you all have a blessed day.